Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of City Zilla Plays here in the beautiful city of Rockwood. I hope you all are having a fantastic day. It's a little warm where I am, but it's not, not too bad. Um, we're going to go ahead and dive into some campus DLC stuff today and I'm pretty excited about it. We don't have any current universities or anything like that. Um, our citizens still do have some higher education learning as they kind of travel to other cities to get that, but we really don't have any anything dedicated for the city and so it's going to be good we're going to get our first campus in we're going to do the trade school and so let's go ahead and dive in and so i was kind of looking at this area a whole uh, little main park kind of burned down and um, <clears throat> so i went ahead and put in a fire watchtower that's one of the ways that you can kind of prevent um, big wildfires like this in your city especially with trees when you do a lot of landscaping, it just increases the chances for you to have wildfires, and you can kind of see our whole park burn down. This would be a huge, huge disaster for our city. They would probably band together. This would actually be, probably be pretty good for our community. Everybody would band together for Hamilton City Park. You know, they'd probably make sure it's like save the park, and they'd come together, and everybody would you know have a day where they'd plant a new tree and you know fix this uh, all the ash and stuff on the ground and. And so on top of the watchtower, I went ahead and put in a fire helicopter depot. I created a new service center over here. We were kind of having some trash issues, and so I created another service center on the opposite end of the city with some recycle centers, and then I put in a new updated uh, inland water treatment plant and then a new uh, solar updraft tower. And so I think this is going to really help with um, kind of spreading the, the trash needs between the city especially with the trash and with all this stuff in the middle, which they don't actually have to pick up, but in real life you would have trash trucks all over the place with that, with that thing. And so we're going to go ahead and start off with this little area over here. I went ahead and put down some roads, and then I just painted the campus area. And if you're familiar with Industries DLC stuff or, or Park Life, then it's the same tool, it's just under here. It's a paint campus area. And so we I really want to create something that looks good. And so I think we're going to end up doing like a big pedestrian mall down the middle. We're not going to put any shops on it or anything, but it'll have like parks and it'll just be a really nice area for a stroll. And you can kind of imagine maybe some students are reading under a tree or doing some studying and stuff. And so, and then another thing that I want to try to do is put in some sort of transit hub. We don't have any transit in the city so far. And so I want to do an inner city. I want to do bus. And then even though I don't think the city is big enough for Metro just yet, I want to kind of plan ahead for that and so i think we are going to go ahead and do this really big guy right here one two three so we'll do right there i might have to finagle it but this guy is just huge metro inner city bus hub i think it came in on the sunset harbor dlc yep and so this guy looks really good i mean it's got a bunch of this these little kind of bays inside so if it was raining you wouldn't have to be waiting outside but then it's also got an underground metro and so this would be a really nice bus hub to have near our campus and so let's go ahead and come over here and i just want to you know clean this up we're going to end up putting our main campus main building off of this and so i think that would be good and then we're going to do the trade school i think for this build we're going to end up doing of course it's not centered yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna just make that one U bigger. Um, it's gonna bug me if it's not right. I'd rather just get it right now. There you go. And that way, I mean, we can at least just put maybe some landscaping or something in there. I think putting this right here would be good. And then one of the cool things with these buildings is they come with these little walking paths. And so we're going to go ahead and utilize those. We're going to do the trade school path with trees. And then I want to come back with this guy. And I think we'll do like little bridges. I think that would be good.
Okay, and so I think this area came out pretty good. Uh, this looks really uniform. We've got these eight dormitories, the main building with the with the bus, inner city, metro kind of hub in there. And I really like how we put in these gazebos. And there's just some really nice areas for you know kids to be able to study. And then I put in this little park plaza. And then we have the botanical garden. And so I went ahead and, and continued on over here. And then I put the school the police academy over here which is our first main building for the trade school and i think we still have a couple buildings to to place as well we have the trade school study hall and then we have the trade school groundskeeping and the book club and so i kind of want to try our best to follow kind of the same pattern maybe um, as over there, I think it would just look really nice if we could somehow get that going. Yeah, that's okay. And so I think we'll do two of the trade school study halls. I think if we did one over here, you know what? We're not going to have enough space. So I think we might just do one. Yeah, if we just put it uh, out of school limits. Oh, out of city limits. Let's go ahead and purchase the square. Um, I was thinking that our city would probably expand that way anyways, and so it's okay. We need the space. And there you go. I'm just going to try to eye it and want it to be level with that. Yeah, it looks pretty good. And then we're just going to follow this path axis around. And there we go. It looks good, you know, especially it's kind of falling down this hill a little bit. And so that is good. We'll do the book club on this side. And then we'll do the groundskeeper on this side. It's going to kind of ruin our symmetry a little bit, but I think having the two small buildings right there would be good. And there we go. Give a little bit of water to these people. And then I want to create some more little nice areas over here as well. And so I think if we did, you know, another park asset, park with trees, I think that could be good. And there we go. I mean, it took a little bit of finagling, but it looks okay. And so I want to kind of, I think we'll end up making this all another little campus area and so what are we gonna do we want to leave space for another one of the schools which because they're huge schools and so not enough electricity we're just gonna do a little hot fix for right now we're gonna end up zoning some of this in and so let me um I'm gonna think about this for a second and we'll uh We'll figure something out because I want to kind of follow the same kind of look over there. It just looks so good. Okay, so I think for this area, first off, what we're going to do is connect this guy up. It's a little low. And there we go. And then that way we can at least have a little bit of road access back here. But I think it's a little lifted up. That's okay though. It looks good. It's kind of like a little bridge over the water. And so I think we'll leave that. And we'll come back over here. And I really want to follow the same kind of ideas on the other side. And so I think what I want to do here is create like a nice stadium district. And so... Since we're a little bit away from that freeway entrance, we are going to extend this guy out. We'll just have a dead end for right now. And then let's go ahead and add in some freeway access. All right, and so 
since this is probably going to end up being a really busy intersection, I think we are going to turn it into a roundabout. So I really want to do some leisure specialization over here, and so I think this would be a good spot for a, for a roundabout, especially as the campus does expand. This is going to end up being a really busy hub, and so it would just be natural to have it as a roundabout. But I really want to create, I was thinking maybe if we did like an aquatic center right here, that would look really cool. And then we'll have the kind of stadium district maybe wrap down the street. Um, just because around colleges, a lot of times you have a lot of nightlife um, <clears throat> movement, and, you know, because they're college kids and they're just trying to have a good time. And so we want to try and provide that. And so we're going to come over here and I don't want that to be too close to the and so I think we're just going to come up here and we'll go right there. And then let's go ahead and flatten this out. Just a little smooth. And there you go. Just to make it a little more accessible for these people. I think we're going to end up... I mean, it could look good for it to be kind of down a little bit. I'm on shift. And there we go. We'll see how that comes out. It's still a little bumpy, but... So I think we're going to come in here and go to Varsity Sports. And I just think a nice little, little aquatic center right there would just be great. They have a huge... Um, huge noise radius and so it would only be natural to have it kind of in an area where there's already a lot of noise. And there we go. And then we are going to paint this to do like right here as well. And I think ending right there would be good. I don't want to make it too big. Yeah, I think even in front of this, we'll keep that as the, as the campus, and so I think this will be good, and then we're going to make that leisure, and let's go ahead and put in some water. And then I want to do that, 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 that. Mm, I'll do that, but I'm going to take this off. And I want to do that, that. I think three. I'm going to do four on this side. I'm going to do three again on this side. Yeah, I think that could look good. Maybe if we keep those empty. Yeah, I think that will be pretty good. Yeah, and that way um, we can get some nice... I think we're going to take all that out. Yeah, we'll do two there. We'll do three on this side, and then um, let's go ahead and switch this around. Just because I don't want to put too much back here, we're already going to be really bogged down, and so... I think that's pretty good, and that way we'll get like a good mixture of... Um, all nightclubs and kind of restaurants and stuff. Like here's a bowling alley and we got a comedy club and, and a gym and then um, games for gamers. And so you could just imagine maybe the family got some free tickets to the game. And so now they can, uh, you know, come out with the family and uh, there's a bunch of restaurants that pop up with this too. So space bowling, you could do, you know, bowling alley or space bowling. And there's normally a ton of bowl with bowling alleys. And so maybe you know, I think it would be fun if we uh, so kept this aquatic center, but let's go ahead and, and change our 
mascot to the bowlers. I think that could be cool. You know what I messed up with this though? I didn't put that in there. Uh... So if you don't put it inside of your campus area, then it doesn't recognize it as a varsity sports, which is what we want. And so team identity. Oh, you know what? You can't just change the name. I thought you could change the name. Mm, you know what? The Chirpers, Eagles. Well, well, you know what? We'll do the Chirpers just because I think this old bird, this angry bird with uh, this little band is is kind of fun. And so let's uh, let's do that. And then um, let's see what comes in here. That should really put in some cool areas. So while we're waiting, I think this would be a good opportunity to put in our first bus lines. And so we do need a biofuel bus. And so I want to put this in an area where it's going to be easily accessible. We could put it in our new area over there. But I think, you know what, I don't want to create more traffic, but this has this little road right here has good access. And so I think we're going to put it right there. And then that unlocks our bus lines. And so one of the reasons why I did grids like this um, was so that we can make some nice clean bus lines. And so I think what we're going to do is we're going to start off by putting one just real simple. We'll uh, start off on the far left and we'll come up here. And then I want to do a stop right there. And so the goal is to basically stop uh, before every intersection. Maybe we'll get rid of that one there. We'll put that there. And then we'll come up here. We'll put one there. And then we'll put one right there and have them turn around. I think that's a good spot. And so we'll put one there and then we're just going to kind of mirror it. We're going to go across and I don't know why that is uh, doing that, but I'm going to try to figure that out. Put one there, put one there, put one there. And there you go. Our first bus line. And so we just kind of follow that one road. Um, it's not too complicated. It's going to be fast. And so it kind of increases the chances that people are actually going to use it a little more. And so we're going to follow that same kind of mentality, but with the next road, we've got the highway coming down the middle. And so the next one would be our little, uh, little boulevard down here. And so I want to come down here. Mm. Really, we'll put one there, and then we'll come down here, we'll put one there, put one there, put one in front of the park. No, we'll move that guy to right there. Move this guy to right there, and then we'll probably just come back. It can use that little interchange, that little neighborhood to turn around. We'll, fall, we'll just mirror it down. And there we go, our second line. And so this definitely increases the effectiveness of these lines. Um, and then the only thing we're missing is, you know, up and down. I don't know if it's north and south, but we need lines coming down these roads. And so I think what we'll do is maybe just little circles. I think that would probably be good instead of just since these roads are, these are kind of small blocks. And so for right now, it uh, really wouldn't help out a whole lot. Though, maybe we'll wait. Well, let's see how these are doing so far. So I know we've got pretty good coverage right there. So if somebody lives right here, they can literally just walk up there and go there. Then if somebody lives right here, they can just walk down here. And so that might actually be enough coverage for us. Let's see them. So this first one's already showing some some signs of being pretty busy. And so I think we're going to bump that up to 16 just to kind of see. This is great. I mean, we just laid down our first bus hub and, and we already got a huge amount of people taking it. 
So check out this second one. Oh man, this is this is crazy. Yeah, I mean this. So um, man, <laughs> this is what happens when you wait for. So let's go ahead and look at some of these. So we got 294 at the bus hub. So let's see if we can see in this guy. Oh yeah, I mean this is crazy. Look at that. There's just all those people. At least they're you know they're in the shade. They got some nice, um, nice little area to stand and wait. But man, this is so many. And then these are the inner city ones which there's a lot of people coming into our town, which is fantastic to see. But I think we are definitely, I think the next episode is going to be transportation. I don't want to dive too much into it on this one since this one's kind of dedicated to campus. But man, we are getting some crazy amount of, amount of people. I think we're probably, probably supplement some of these main roads with them. Um, with some metro as well and that's why I did the metro hub 90 I mean that one went down so we're at 78 now it's 30 yeah you know we'll um we'll let this run for a minute and we'll see We'll see how this does. I want to check the traffic as well, just make sure we're not creating problems. We do have a huge demand for residential, so we'll definitely need to definitely need to uh, address that. I think if we did like a university city right here, that would be cool. I wonder if I don't even know if I can. Let me see if I can choose that. I should be able to. I'm going to do university city. I think I need to install it. I have the DLC, the content creator pack, but maybe I'm just, I don't know if I have it installed. We'll figure it out though, because I do want to put another, um, another one of the sports halls right there. Man, look at this. This, we did, this whole area just looks really good. We, uh, we really came together on this one. I like the uniformity of the dorms and just this whole walking path. I mean, this look how packed this is. This is just crazy. Look at all these people walking. They're just utilizing. Look, our gazebos are full. And they're having like a little party. They got their bags. Maybe they came off the bus. This one's full too. I mean, man, these people are just, they're living it up. They're loving this new area. And I really like how we spent the time and, and did a good job detailing this. And I'm really looking forward to being able to kind of expand this area. And it kind of sucks because we did leave this area kind of empty. But I think it's just, you know, I we don't know what we're going to put here. And so I don't want to go ahead and start plopping stuff down and then find out that we need to, you know, uh, delete stuff. And so I think we did a good job with this one. This one's definitely done. And I really like how we did the leisure. And so this creates just a nice, you know, uh, nice tourism district. And then our buses are definitely crammed. And so we're going to have to figure out some alternative ways of transportation. Um, like, look at this one, 247. So there's 300 people waiting at this stop. That is just a ton. They're crammed in there. They're just so excited to go check out the new university. Look at all the people walking. And so I think that's that was actually a really good idea to just do the outsides. Because I think people, let's see if there's somebody walking. Let's see if she walks up to the bus stop. This person. They're walking pretty far. Let's hope i mean they're all the way in the back there's the highway right there nice elevated highway come on you can do it you know what we're gonna we're gonna back out and try to hunt somebody down that's going to the bus elementary school going home going home going home 
Super Pharmacy Consultant at Recycling Center. Okay, going to work. Let's see if this person's, so this person says they're going to work. So they're walking up. So they just walked all the way from that back neighborhood, which is great. That's what we were looking for. They're going across the bridge. They're coming down. Oh, man, fantastic. That's exactly what we were looking for. So you, by just doing these two bus lines around the outside, these people are now walking from in here to get to the bus. And so we just got to make sure that that bus stays efficient. And we now know that that people will take them. And so... You don't have to get too crazy with your bus lines and all that, but we definitely do probably need to put in maybe a light rail or some trolley buses or something. But I think this is working out pretty good so far. Yeah, I mean, these are they're still really high, and you know our car trip saved is 75%, but it looks like they're all full but they're kind of taken in, so maybe we can bump up some more. Maybe we'll go to we'll go to 20 and just see if that helps. And this one, maybe we'll do the same on this one. It doesn't have any extremely high ones. Let's bump it up to 20, though, since we only have the two lines for right now. I just want to make sure that we don't create more traffic issues. We're still at 83%, which is good. And so the goal with mass transit is to get people to not take their car. And so if we can get people to start relying on the bus, then then our city will be much better. And so let's go ahead and look at this. Man, there's just so many people. We do we need to make some bridges. We need to do a bridge right here. Yeah, look at all these people. This is crazy. Okay, and so I think this is uh, this is pretty good. We um, we did a lot on this episode. I, I really hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day, whether it's night or morning or wherever you're at in the world. I hope that this video has maybe brightened your day a little bit or you uh, learned something. I don't know. Let me know in the comments, and I will catch you on the next one. Don't forget, if you like my content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button or the like. It really does help, and I will see you on the next one.